are you going? Into the world, my wife. At last, life has opened its wide arms to gladly welcome and embrace us. Today, Rashid and I are going to buy Sheikh Saeed's garden. Why all this hurry? Don't you want to have breakfast first? There is no time to lose. I must move quickly before someone else buys the garden. I'll wake up Rashid and then we will go to Sheikh Saeed's house and cut the deal. Wake up, Rashid! We don't have time! He should be Naeem. He is always in a hurry. I'll open the door. Are you still asleep, Rashid? All the people here had awakened. Put on your clothes. Come on, hurry up! I wasn't asleep. I always wake up early. Even before sunrise, thanks be to Allah. But why all this hurry, Saeed? It's still very early. I won't allow anybody to buy the garden before we do. No one will take our livelihood, so don't be a hurry to seek after the realm, because everything is under our God's commands. You're always like this. Hm. Come on, come on, hurry up. We have no time for this argument. <laughs> This is the house of Sheikh Saeed. Okay, let's knock on the door. Who's there? We have come to buy your land, Sheikh Saeed. You are welcome. Come in. We are ready, Sheikh Saeed, and this is the money you asked for. Why are you in a hurry? You will not take more than your subsistence. Of course, you are right, Sheikh. But we really need to work very hard. We need to get our fortune. You see, that is why we are in such a very great hurry. Anyway, this is the title deed. But I recommend you to take care of this land, because I have inherited it from my grandfathers, and I wouldn't lose it unless I'm old. We will take good care of the land. It's my lifelong dream. Don't be afraid, Sheikh Saeed. It's my lifelong dream, which I will never lose. Today, I have fulfilled my dreams. Over the days, Rashid and Naaman worked hardly in the garden. Until the trees produces fruits and the blessings fill their garden. At last, finally we have gathered the fruits. Let's go to the market before the evening. Give me some of what God had granted you. I didn't eat since yesterday. Go away, old man, because we don't have time to lose with you. Come on, move on. Wait. Don't rebuke the poor. Take this, my brother. It's Allah's gift. Why did you give it to him? If we give every beggar, we won't have anything to eat. Don't be angry, and consider what I have given him from my share. Okay, okay. Fine then. Let's go. I agree with you, and this is your money. 
Thank you. Thanks be to God. We ask Allah to preserve his grace and favor. Rashid, what do you say? I was thinking about buying the garden next to ours to increase our profit. We have enough money to buy it. What do you say, Rashid? It's a good idea. But you must remember that this will demand a very great effort from us. Please give me what I can feed my hungry children. Okay, I'll give you, but don't forget me from your invocation. Don't give him anything. Did you forget about the new garden? We need to save every dirham. The poor man first, and then the garden. God bless your money and your family, master. This way you will lose your money. Or maybe our money altogether. If you keep on doing this, then I will not be your partner anymore, Rashid. I can't see a poor man and not give him anything, because the money I have is God's money, and Allah gave it to me, you understand? Will you stop this nonsense? From now on, we'll go on separate ways, and each one will take half of the land, and then you can spend your money on the poor. As you like. The two partners separated, and everyone started to work hard in his land. Years passed, and Rashid increases his payments for poor men and for everyone in need. <laughs> I sold the fruits for 2,000 dinars as you ordered me, master. Good work. Good work. <laughs> Give it to me. Give me the money. <sighs> How I love money. How I like to see it. <sighs> and hear the sound of its golden coins. <laughs> I need some food for me and my children. I'm an old man and I can't work at all. Hurry up. Go away! Don't you know whose house this is? It's Saeed's house, and he doesn't give poor men. If he sees you, who knows? Maybe he'll throw you very, very far away! To God we belong, and to Him is our return. Allah is sufficient for us. Mm. Now man's money increased. And he bought two big gardens by a small river in another place. I'll go to the city to buy myself some new clothes, which suit me well, hmm? May safety be your friend, master. Don't leave the garden before I return, and be careful that nobody steals anything from it. I hear and obey my master. Hmm? Rashid? Hey, stop, stop, horse! Rashid, how are you? I haven't seen you since a long time. Thanks be to God, I am fine. How are you, my friend? Better than you. <laughs> my money has increased, Rashid, and now I have two big gardens full of wonderful fruits. Well, may God bless them for you. I'll be very happy for you, my friend. Come, come with me, Rashid. Come to see the two gardens. If this will make you happy, my friend, okay. Blessed be Allah. Praise and thanks to Allah. Here, take it, my friend, take it. Mm. Take it and see how good my life has turned. <laughs>
This is the result of my efforts and stinginess to gather money. Mm. Do you still spend your money on poor men as you used to do before? Spending money on poor men fills my heart with happiness, and all the money of the world is not equal. Mm, these thoughts are still filling your head, my friend Rashid. I have abandoned them since a long time. This is why you will find me having more money and children than you. <laughs> no, my friend, you are wrong. Don't fill your heart with arrogance or Allah will get angry with you and prevent you from his blessings. And then you will become poor as you were and he will certainly punish you when doomsday comes. What huh? do you say? The two gardens will vanish? No, no, no. I don't think this could ever happen to my gardens. They are under my care, and they will be mine forever. And, uh, and, uh, no one will hold me accountable. And, uh, I don't even believe in Doomsday. These are all lies and deceptions. No, no, my friend. Don't be a disbeliever. God created you from the earth and made you into the strong man you are. I don't want to hear any of this nonsense, and if you want to have a lot of money, then follow my steps and you will be rich. I will not disbelieve in God, and nothing will prevent me from worshipping him. Allah is the provider, and if he wills, he will give me better than your two heavens. But it was better for you when I entered the garden to say, it is Allah's will, no power except Allah's power. And if you see me with less money, I hope God grants me better than your two heavens, but after life, and destroys yours, because they are the reason for your very great disbelief. Let him go! No, I don't ever want to see him again, and I'll never listen to his words of nonsense. At night, God sent his anger upon the owner of the two heavens, because he disbelieved in God. So they turned into ruins, and he lost all his efforts and money. Oh my God! Oh my God! All my efforts are lost in vain. Where are my ripe fruits? Where are my tall trees? Where is the clear water of the river? It is God's anger. I disbelieved in him. It's my fault. I wish I had listened to Rashid. I wish I had listened to Rashid and didn't disbelieve in Allah. My God, I am wrong and I repent to you. I repent to you, my God. Accept my repentance. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hunalika al-walayatu lillahi al-haqqa. هو خير سوابا وخير عقبا صدق الله العظيم In the beyond, the protection comes from God, the true. He is best to reward and best to give ultimate success. Mm.